What is up, guys? Okay, guess what? You are not on Facebook. Definitely. You definitely know this isn't Facebook because I am not the greatest front-end developer out there. You know what? I don't really... Okay, I'm not that passionate about front-end. I'm more of a back-end guy. But I've tried my best to try to make the user interface look like Facebook. So my job here was to make the back-end. So as you can see, it has everything Facebook would actually have. Before I go diving in, and explaining everything and going through a demo of this please please guys please this takes a lot of work you have no idea how much work it takes to build this up so kindly just as a token of your appreciation if this helps you at all be sure to like and subscribe okay so let's get to it the beauty of this is it's actually made using 100 percent php and mysql nothing else so none of the complicated frameworks i'm not using react and i stick to my old boy php because it is i love php and yeah so what i can do with it i will do so this is a sample post from this guy gary uh whose username is john do we can comment on this you can just say yay my video Okay, so basic stuff, basic stuff. This is default for any network and then just hit enter. And you can see, there it is. You can like, you can like your own post, but we'll definitely test this functionality out from another profile so we can view this. So you can see, you can see the posts. Uh, you can see the guys about and the media. You can see his photos, his videos, etc. You can he can edit his own profile because he has logged in with these credentials okay the whole shabang so let's head back to the home page and see ah okay so at the home page obviously you are we want to be able to only view the posts from guys whose friend requests we accepted or something of the sort yeah and that's exactly what i've implemented here so uh, your home page will only be populated with feeds from people you actually follow. So as you can see, there's only one guy we follow, which is Fortune, whose friend request we accepted. So here is the guy. Here is his post. You can see he posted about a laptop and he says this wallpaper is fire. We can say, yes, bro. It is. Okay. You will get that comment. And as you can see here, several posts. Let me just go through them. Nothing fancy about this. Nothing so fantastic. Okay, that's it. So you can see you can post anything from text to event. You can even post a video. You can even post a video. So let's look at this guy's posts and see some of the stuff that he has been posting about. So this is John Doe. As you can see, he has posted a video. Check out this amazing video. He only has one like from him. So, sorry to John Doe. He's not that popular. And, okay, let's do this from another account. So, I've opened up an incognito tab. That's actually the reason why when you head back to your homepage. So, let's, let's just give this a little bit of time for, to reload. I just want to show you all the features that this demo has so that you can just go working on some amazing stuff using this because if you have been on the channel and you've learned some php at this point whatever i just upload for you guys you can really do a lot more with it because all you have to do is implement your own php depending on whatever you wanted to happen so as you can see fortune is online for a particular reason because we have a tab running we have I've logged in as fortune so as you can see also see john though is also active so if i if i look up what do i mean if i refresh this i should see some of the posts from john Doe, we should post something we should post something so let's just say today this is all I posted something like that. And then just hit post. 
so okay that has been posted so as you can see we see all of Gary's posts we see his video which had one like so let's add that and officially it's two likes and we can also comment it's great it's a great video yeah okay so that's the that's all about about that part of the functionality yeah this is my saturday routines etc etc so let me show you all about the follow and the friend request functionality so if you were to visit gary no if gary was to visit my my profile gary would have the option to unfollow me and friend me all that so this is a new post okay so forget that so you can decide to follow or unfollow me uh you can also decide to unfriend me right here so it got those options and the back end is already written up so it will just work out just fine so as you can see langat has eight posts one follower two for two following it's following two people and then just one friend if we head over back now i'm confused with the accounts which one the incognito one okay we head back here this is fortune this is fortune uh we just made a post under gary so we expect to see that in our home page and you can see even the comments have all been updated uh, we should also test the, the 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 functionality of the comments not the comments the chat section so that's exactly what we are going to do so if you wanted to implement this for maybe your school your campus or if you want to create your own social i don't know social app then at least i'll probably help you out in some one way or another this is taking way too long to load up two comments this is the chat room of, of course we should say some some logout functionality logout functionality so if you just log out this we achieve this by just creating a session by which we'll just be killing everything right now. So we have ended our session successfully and we are redirected to a login page. So you see from this point, you can create your, a new account. So let's test that, let's test that. Let's create an account for a lady maybe called Ross and then her last name. I don't have time to be creative and give no those at gmail and the email address is going to be nope the username will still be rose the email will be rose at gmail dot com and then for the password i'm just just going to remove this and register oh, by the way the, if it's slow this is just my machine it's not really about the php although we are known to be inherently okay the username must be a minimum of six characters so it throws kwamboka okay and then for the password let's repeat that I'm not really being creative with anything right now your account has been created successfully so let's log in. Let's log in as Rose. 
and you should remember that Rose has no friends at all. So I feel she'll be completely empty, and she has no friends. Ouch. Okay, login. And it's successful, as you can see already by the URL, by being directed to the home page. This should be empty. Her feed should not be receiving anything, anything at all. So as you can see, Rose's feed is really empty and she has no friends. Okay, so let's try adding friends. So let's click here. And of course, we can just search for the famous John Doe or even fortune so let's just search for john search for john so the search query is going to be john and definitely it will find one user or two users two users by such a name okay you see there's john smith and there's dev gary so let's just follow them both follow them both instantly and but our prime focus is dev because we already know how the dev profile looks like. So I want you guys to see what happens. Okay. So this is Dev's profile. We can see what he posted. All he has been posting. We can like. We can also go there and comment and say, hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Wow. Okay. So we can now also send a friend request to Dev. So a friend request has been sent. So let's test this. This is Fortune's profile. So I don't want this. Let's log out. So we are ending this session. That session has ended. And please, I'm really sorry about the slowness. This is only my PC. Okay, so we are logging in as Dev. And the password. And login. Give it a moment. Any second now. Really? Low end PC. Low end. I could see I'm doing a tutorial. Please. Okay, as you can see, right here we get a notification. A really dazzling notification. Rose Pamboka sends you a friend request. You can either accept or decline. So we accept. And immediately we accept Rose profile. Uh, we are able to go and see what Rose has been posting. So this is all that she has been posting. And she has one friend. One friend, which is just us, John Doe. John Doe, we are her only friends. <laughs> this is interesting. So let's just head back to John Doe's profile. Okay. But we should have started out Rose with at least one post. But anyway, it is what it is. So this is it, as you can see. It's now updated. He has two friends, which of course we know is Fortune and Rose Kwamboka. Rose Kwamboka. Rose Kwamboka. So what else? What else do you want? To, you guys want to see? Mm, what other functionality would you like to see? You can see the posting, the liking, the sharing. What else is, is Facebook all about? The search functionality, you've seen that. Uh, what else? Mm. Oh, oh, okay, okay. The chatting, the chatting. You should see that. Messages. So, of, of course, you, you are able to chat with users in here. So, definitely, we even did a tutorial on this. So, you can see the guy who commented. There was a comment by a guy on my previous tutorial. He said, this is not exactly like Messenger because you can't see the, the, the friends or the users you would like to chat with. Well, I fixed that. Now you can see that and hopefully you're sorted out. So just say hey or something. 
Okay, that's a that's just a small bug. So I'll just leave it to you guys. You have to fix that. As you can see, the messages still get rendered in real time. It's just up to you guys to go see what what, what is really the issue here. Anyway, that's it for this uh, this Facebook clone. I of course I don't think there's any feature I've left out. Obviously, I can't do all Facebook features. I'm not not Mark Zuckerberg. But as you can see, our contacts are now updated and they are both online so okay that's all about the functionality if you'd like me to create a tutorial of how to build this out from scratch then i will be more than happy to oblige just please let me know down in the comment section and at all if you get any errors if you get any errors let me know but first let me show you guys how you can install this so of course here's the project here is the code on GitHub, like you, you guys already know, you always find this on GitHub. So the first step you want to do is head over to your local host, PHP, my admin, and create a database called chat. That's all you have to do. Create the database chat. Then import, import. I have attached for you guys. I have really attached. Just head over, navigate to htdocs wherever the folder that you download is and you extract and you will find a database folder just click on chat and hit import and it will just create the tables for you and then one last thing one last thing clearly guys one last thing once you are in this folder navigate into the the actual folder the chat folder and then just open up a terminal okay just left click git bash and then just run this command because uh, if you've been developing with php you know there's a way for you to record all the dependencies that are required so i created a composer.log file that just has all the dependencies that are required to run this this file okay so you're going to need composer installed on your machine of course you can just head over to composer you'll find a detailed documentation on how it's installed. Once you're done with that, just open up the terminal and type in composer install. Make sure you are inside, inside the actual folder, not on my desktop like this. This is just a demonstration and hit enter. It will install all the dependencies required to run this project. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to like and subscribe and follow me for more content right here on youtube so i'll see you guys as we work on an even more exciting project on our next tutorial so see you guys and peace out keep programming don't stop